Okay, so I am prepping a cup for a full wrap. I have some resin mixed up and I have some Glow Mica yellow to green ready to go. If I can get it open. I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed into the resin. I'm not going to use a ton, probably about two scoops like that. Maybe a little bit more. Um, this one's from LMNOP Design Boutique. It's the first time I'm using this particular glow. But I think it'll be pretty bright based on what I've seen of it just sitting on my counter. So hopefully. Because I want to do a fairly thin coat because I don't want to alter the size of the cup too awfully much. So I'm just going to get this on here. And it shouldn't actually change the white of the cup too very much. The yellow glows normally don't. But I'm hoping it'll be enough to glow. So I'm going to try and get this all out of the cup. And just smooth the coat out. And I will let this cure, and then once it is fully cured, I'm going to check it and decide if it needs another thin coat with the glow, which it might. Um, but if it's got some glow, I will probably call it good at just one thin coat because, like I said, I don't really want to alter the thickness of the cup itself too much because the wraps I've been using... Um, are pretty well sized for the cup base because they're made to be sublimation wraps. So, um, so I will be back when this is ready for the wrap. But that was it. Just a quick glow coat. Okay, I am ready to get the water slide on this. Um, I'm a little nervous about this one. And I am trying to find a silicone brush. I'm nervous about this one because it's a full wrap that I did not mirror. Um, I just missed that step, so I'm going to have to actually slide this one. Um... I probably could have used another layer of glow, but I am pretty tight with the water slide sizing, so I didn't want to make the cup any fatter. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in a pan of warm water that I have over here. And this shouldn't take long because the water is pretty warm. So I'm just going to let it sit a second. I'm going to grab a paper towel and get the whole cup wet. So the glow is there, but it is very, very splotchy. Um, I feel like that always happens to me with the glow micas. I just, I don't know, I don't get the ratios right or something, but I don't want to do a second coat because, like I said, um, I'm going to put this damp paper towel down right under the cup. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And this whole thing is ready to slide. So, 
going to get it laid on the cup and I'm going to grab this just to see stray glitter always um, I just want to kind of try and get it started straight so that looks pretty straight and I'm gonna have to try and pull this carefully and these little bits are from my paper trimmer my blades getting very dull so I'm gonna wipe them off I'm gonna have them around all of the edges though unfortunately and I'm gonna turn this this way so I can slide a bunch at a time Just a tiny bit. Okay. So I'm going to try and get that turned. I'm kind of trying to watch wrinkles as I go. Wrinkles and bubbles and whatnots. I printed this water slide in its own video the other day so you could see how I do my full wrap water slides because some people wanted to see the process for that so I will put the link to that video as well as this image down in the description this is an image from Creative Fabrica. I've been finding a lot of great stuff on there lately. I'm just taking my time because I want this to be nice. <laughs> and I don't want to have to fight with it in the long run. So. Okay, there we go. Stretch this bottom up and this bottom down because my top edge is perfect. I do have the tiniest little bit of overlap, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to all but virtually disappear. So I'm just going to take that little piece of damp I had and wipe off all these stringy bits from around the bottom edge. Because, um, wow, my paper trimmer is really bad. I tried using one of my other ones, thinking it might be better. But um, it's not. I'm going to get all that jagged edge scraped off there. This is not a, a rip. That's where there's a white spot in the water slide. It's the bottom of one of the faces. So, I'm going to clean the bottom off. I'm going to set this aside to dry. And I actually think that I am pretty smooth here so I'm not gonna worry about it any more than that I'm gonna wipe the top rim off too because there's a little bit of black flaking happening up there as well okay 
So in my other video, I did have a little spot in here somewhere where I put a fingerprint on it, but that little bit of an overlap actually covered that right up. So I am good to go there. If it hadn't covered it, I would have grabbed a little alcohol ink and touched it up once this was dry, but that's not going to be necessary. So there she is. I'm going to let her dry. We'll test and see how the glow is. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this one will glow in such a way that I can actually show you the glow. Sometimes it can, sometimes it can't. So I will be back in just a bit when this is completely dry to show you the glow and the epoxy step over the top. All right, so I am ready to get resin on this one. I don't know what my mount is doing here. I have some resin handy, and I am going to I think I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this precious gem. I don't... No, I'm not. I'm just going to use a little bit of the Mistress Cheat. Just a, like that. Just dusting the top. Get this on here. And this is going to get a couple more coats. It's got one coat under the water slide. This will be its second coat, so it's going to get at least one more. That might be enough to satisfy me. But first things first, let's get this coat on. Just the tiniest hint of sparkle. And this is a relatively thin coat. On a cup like this, I prefer to build up thinner coats because I'm not trying to fill anything in. I'm just trying to cover. So... All right, I am hoping that this has enough of a charge to it from where it's been sitting that we'll be able to see if it's going to glow. So I'm gonna pop these gloves off real quick and I'm gonna go hit my room light. And get my ring light. Yep. See? I can see it, but I don't think you can. But I'm going to bring you down closer. Oh, yeah, you can if I get you closer. See? She glows. So, I'm going to... And that wasn't without a strong, strong charge. So, I'm going to get my lights back on and then give you a true close-up. Okay. So here it is. I absolutely love this one. Nothing on the bottom, just plain. But that is it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And all the links will be in the description down below.